let's take one more exercise in solid work sheet metal now this is the model so we have one flattened view isometric view now we have top view and side view and there is one detail view you will see here detail a okay this is the for uh, custom relief then there is one bending table all bend down 90 degree inner radius 1 millimeter all dimensions are in millimeter material thickness 1.5 inner radius 1 millimeter follow table okay aluminium anodized is the material so we will start with this top face see now this one you will see 120 by 60 and uh, at center there is a one cutout 18 dia but this center to center distance 60 and location you will observe from here 30 30 okay and corner radius also you will see r10 into 4 so we will create this model with the help of sheet metal feature okay so i am going to activate here top plane sketch now here activate center rectangle and draw one vertical rectangle according to position this is suitable right click choose select and out of this sketch now smart activate smart dimensions 120 and this is going to be 60 okay now go to sheet metal and activate base flange tab now look material thickness moving downward okay bending radius we will define now here uh, auto relief you can keep anything you can even after that you can change so i'm going to keep one millimeter uh, ratio one it means equivalent to thickness if i'm going to keep 0.5 means half of the thickness so ratio let's say one okay okay let me do one thing let's define this color so that uh, it looks more realistic or something okay now select the center uh, top face sketch now i am going to draw here a straight slot right click select and exit now look we have one center point for this line so either select line hold shift key select origin point and we have two option here so choose midpoint the smart dimension now this center distance 60 millimeter and radius 18 millimeter look it seems fully defined go to sheet metal and activate extruded cut feature now here start condition keep same end condition or direction see the arrow moves downward you can simply uncheck and apply the dimension or simply choose link to thickness so it will cut only up to thickness see okay let's uh, i am going to apply here break corner fillet this is going to be 8 and i am going to directly select this face and see system automatically detect all corner say okay look now Ten millimeter fine okay let's add these flanges now if you see drawing the bend goes inside see these length 30 millimeter width 20 and distance from one corner 15 then there is a one 10 dia hole 8 dia hole and this whole location 10 10 okay and corner radius you will see 5 r5 there are total eight number of corner radius so and the custom angle you will see uh, we keep custom uh, relief custom relief 1.5 1 ratio so this is equivalent to thickness so 1.5 into 1.5 see now let's say age flange now select this bottom edge and move downward now edit flange okay before going to edit make sure flange position material keep inside let's say huh. 
Now look, material goes inside. Okay. Now corner radius, you will see here one millimeter. Even though if you uncheck and modify it, but let's keep as it is position. Just move with uh, your cursor, activate the smart dimension. First, I'm going to define this 20 and uh, 15. Let's define length also here. So you don't need to define in system more again, 30. Look, it seems fully defined this sketch. Here, choose back, isometric view, and you don't need to define the flange length here. Rest everything same. Go to custom relief type. Relief type, rectangle, and ratio we keep 1 millimeter. If you uncheck, you can directly apply thickness. See, 1.5, 1.5. This is what our, say okay. And look here. Now let's make hole here, select this sketch, uh, face, sketch. Now activate circle, draw a circle and make diameter 8. And distance from here to here, 10 millimeter. Now go to sheet metal and activate extruded cut. Again, I am going to choose the same direction, but make sure thickness link to thickness. Now let's mirror this, mirror plane, front plane and feature to mirror. So I'm going to select this one and this hole. Okay. See again, select right plane mirror. Now here select mirror one feature mirror one. Say, okay. Now again, I am going to apply <coughs> corner relief, fillet, 5, and uh, let me select this edge, face. Face is easy to see. Okay. And here we go. Okay. Let's flatten and see. If you right click, you can save export to DXF or drawing. Now let's say part, any part you can give a cover or something like this. Save. Now export, what type of you want? I, I want to export as a sheet metal. Now what things you do you want to export along with this drawing? So I want to keep bend line, a sketch no need forming tool bounding box this box also going to be import uh, we don't need this box even though you can align your position also but i'm going to keep this one as it is save see this is a bending line and everything now these 2d file you can use in autocad uh, for autocad or any uh, let's say for cutting sheet cutting software let's save and that save exit don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching